in this second part <coughs> we are going to discuss the details of grid reference generally we are using the value of latitudes and longitudes for finding out the actual location of places in maps and globe but it is very difficult to find the minor geographical features in topo sheets to overcome this difficulty <coughs> the north south and east west lines in red color are drawn in the topo sheets these north south lines look at the screen these north south lines are generally called eastings and uh, the east to west lines are called northings let's find the features of these eastings and uh, northings look at the screen these are eastings and find its features the next picture you are watching is the lines of northings and there gives its features also the grids <coughs> formed by the eastings and northings are called reference grid a grid has 2 cm width and 2 cm breadth it represents the 1 km length and 1 km breadth on the earth's surface the grids are drawn on 1 is to 50000 scale topo sheets then let's find how can we make use of these grids for the precise location of small geographical area in topo sheets watch the model grid given there you can watch some geographical features in the grid the sizes of the geographical features in the model grid are not one and the same so we must use different kinds of grid reference to locate the geographical features generally we are using two types of grid references they are four figure grid reference and six figure grid reference watch to the grid with a lake in the figure given there in the four figure grid reference method the value of the easting to the immediate left of the feature that is the lake can be used look at the screen again there is a black arrow mark that shows the immediate left of the <coughs> lake that is 52 four figure grid reference means there will be four figures or four numbers 52 is the first two of the number <coughs> then the value of the north things just south of the feature turn to the next picture the black arrow mark locates the um northings that is 18 thus the location of the lake based on the four figure grid reference is 
ஈஸ்டிங்ஸ் அண்ட் எயிட்டீன் இஸ் த நார்த் திங்ஸ் வாட்ஸ் த மாடல் கிரிட் தட் வி ஹாவ் ஆல்ரெடி சீன் ஹியர் த லொக்கேஷன் ஆஃப் திஸ் ஃபீச்சர்ஸ் ஆர் சைஸ் ஆஃப் த ஃபீச்சர்ஸ் ஆர் டிஃபரெண்ட் for getting the actual location of the smaller geographical features we should rely on six figure grid reference look at the given grid the geographical geographical feature given there is tube well and how can we locate the well based on six figure grid reference while determining the location of the tube well the value of the eastings to the left of it is not at first that is 15 write down 15 then divide the area up to the next eastings into 10 equal parts 1 2 3 4 5 6 9 look at the screen find the exact division on which the tube well is located look at the screen again and uh, find the black arrow mark that uh, shows the exact division of eastings that is 5 then you can write 5 near to 15 that is 155 now write the value of the northings just below the tube well that is 76 then you can write with 155 that is 155 76 and divide the area up to the next north things as being divided into 10 equal parts and find the exact division look at the arrow mark given there the exact division is 6 and you can write the 6 with 76 so the actual position of the tube well based on the six figure grid reference is 155766 which means 155766 is the exact six grid reference of the tube well here 155 are eastings and 766 are northings look at the screen you can write in your notebook the four figure grid reference of a b c d and six figure grid reference of 1 2 3 4 5 5 find the actual geographical feature first then write its four figure and six figure grid reference